you know, we just because, you know, you spent some time, you know, with some mental health stuff. So I don't know if alcohol in Vegas and the lights and the and the, you know, the party at me. You don't think that's that healthy right now? You know what I mean? Well, I've been drinking oh. pretty much daily. Damn it, bro. <laughs> and I feel fine. You guys, Dino and Austin. Yeah, back to Dino and Austin. We heard that they are driving to Vegas for a card tournament, which on its own is disturbing, but they told us they're going with King Croc. I mean, and Swoby. Oh, and, God. And cameraman Aaron. Oh, God. King Croc, the last I heard from King Croc, he's, he was coming back on the Leo and Friends Patreon show, doing some episodes with Leo. Mm-hmm. Then he disappeared from that and stopped for a second time. No, scratch that. Third time answering leo's texts and i thought he was gone for good you mean to tell me you mean to tell me he's reached out and reestablished contact yeah no nah, he was like in the hospital for a little bit but he's good now doesn't it feel like they're taking somebody who's died to las vegas it feels like they're taking a ghost on a nah, trip to a card tournament Rock. He's, he's been cool i hope so man um I'm worried about him. I, I I've missed some phone calls from him. So I've been meaning to call him, but I'm gonna try to have him on Leon Friends. If you guys want to get him on Leon Friends this week, uh, we'll we'll interview him and see what what the hell is going on, and we can vet him a little bit, make sure he's uh, he's ready to go to Vegas. You know what I mean? Like wh- wh- for me, it's like sim- It's like this, guys. If you lose your mind, got to go to a hospital for two weeks. Do you think maybe you could you should lay off alcohol and drugs for a while? What do you think, Danny? If you lose your goddamn mind. Listen, Leo, you are attributing um, motives to his Vegas trip that aren't there. He's going there to compete in a tournament oh, and yep. try out his new Scyther the Sky Dragon okay, against exactly. the Blue Eyes White Centaur. My bad. I didn't. I didn't. I thought he might, you know, pick up a, a Fody on the way to the tourney. Listen, no, bro, this is a free tournament. And there's twenty. Oh, you could win twenty five thousand dollars. You this won't could though. Save King Kong. You know why you won't win twenty five thousand dollars? Because Asian kids. Yeah. Okay. Sure, That's Asian why you're not going to win shit. I mean, it's going to be an uphill battle. I, I, I'm praying for you guys. It'd be really cool if you guys got out of debt. Bam, with a tournament. I mean, that'd be dope. I think think positively. But I think, you know, get, get, do it to the best of your ability. Try to get some sleep the night before, at least. We'll I know you're going to be high. Walk out with like 500 bucks minimum. No, I highly doubt that's going to happen. Let's pull up some royalty-free music right now, Austin, that would sound good in the background of a card duel. I'm going to duel Austin and Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Oh, my God. This is great. I'm going to prove to everybody that he's got no shot against a kid named Jin from South Korea. Oh, my God. The kid Jin from South Korea, he's got a water deck, which everybody knows is known for its tricky spells and its sea serpents. Here we go. It's got to be copyright free. Are there any sea serpents in in the cards? Be oh, uh, sea serpents are plenty. Sea serpents are scary, man. If if I was in the water and I see a serpent, a serpent, I'm done. All right, you got to officiate it, Leo. All right. Do the officiating right now. Introduce both of us and start the duel. All right. In the blue corner, we have we have Daniel Mullen hailing from Sacramento, California, six foot three, ah! 185 pounds, known for his sea serpents and dark owls. In the red corner, we have Austin Slosher. Oh, yeah. He is, um, he is a white nationalist from Nebraska. He shares German roots and is related to a lot of shady Germans, if you know what I mean. He's not racist, though. He's a nice kid. He has a a black friend named King Croc who's lost his mind recently, but he's back on good graces. Um, He's known for his dark ravens and uh, turtle shells. Yes. See here now, Austin. My dark owls are going to smoke your dark ravens, and I'll prove it. Right now, I tap two mana to unleash my dark owl from the Elder Woods. Oh, ah! wow, this is big. This is big. I place a trap card, and then I play Pussy Shadow and activate his <laughs> ability, Croc Block, raising my defense by 2,000 points. Oh, 2,000 points? Good thing I have the 3,000 point force of oh. the King Sea Serpent. Tap now, three mana engaged. 
Sea Serpent King, go! Uh -huh. oh. That activates my trap card. Adderall. This gives King Croc another 4,000 defense and 5,000 IQ points. Oh my god. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna have to pull out my biggest card yet. Oh no. There's only one thing that can defeat the Pussy Shadow and send him into hiding. I unleash now the wrath of pickup artist John Anthony. John Anthony oh. Tap, go! Oh, oh. oh. that is yeah. wow. Well, we have to stop there because there is no rebuttal to the John Anthony uh, lifestyle card. That is a very, very powerful card. It's an entity that is not really well understood. It's it's a very rare card. So Danny did win. The, he won the card tournament. John Anthony sent King Croc into hiding the first time, dude. Danny did. Uh, uh, GG. GG. They still say that? Yeah, they do. They say that verbally? Well, no, just like online. Good. Hey, you know what I'm worried about is what they were saying, Danny, is that they're staying at a fan's condo. Um, oh, yeah. No. The gay guy? The gay Not prostitute? The gay guy. They we met a hit gay up, hooker on the streets of Vegas two years ago. Yeah. They were so psyched. And I think it's perfectly safe to stay with this guy. Hey, I mean, he's a fan of your content, so... So you guys, be careful in Las Vegas. I don't know what's going to happen. It is crazy. Why does King Croc talk to you but not Leo? It's weird, well, right? He just didn't have access to his phone for a little while. So how do you get in contact with him? He has his phone now. Like, he got a different phone, I think, at this point. So now his phone, like, works. Why doesn't he talk to me or Leo? You could probably hit him up. Like, I couldn't get a hold of I, uh, him for a while, too, and then I got a hold of him, and he was like, yeah, man, I was just in the hospital for a little bit. Let's text him right now and see if uh, anything happens. What if they communicated with each other uh, like Boo Radley communicates with the kids and to kill a mockingbird? <laughs> he was leaving notes in the knot hole of a tree. What if I wait? Who who communicates like that? Well, King Croc's Boo Radley. Oh, that'd be hilarious. We have to we have to like when we need him for like a bit or something. We got to go leave a note in, in like a, a tree. That's hilarious. And it's outside of his shelter. I fucking love that. It sounds like a great video idea too. Maybe we'll combine the two videos. That's Rat Dick Ralph becomes Swedish and tries to get a job. King Croc is Boo Radley. That's really, I, I like this idea. It's a lot for the fans to handle. You're texting him right now? Yeah, I'm going to text him right now. Just, just give him a see. call. Let's give him a call right now on the pod. That'd be perfect. Yeah, let me just, I, I, I forget to save his number like an idiot, but here it is. You know who hit me up? My old sugar daddy from San Francisco, too. Dude. We got to get him on the pod. That'd be dope. At the very least, we got to get a call. So what would you have to do for this money? Not much, right? We'll talk about it. Mm. Once this call, either. I right, know. Let's see. Who, who thinks we're going to get an answer? I'm optimistic, You're Leo. Optimistic. I am, too. I am, too. Maybe time. It's the third one. He he might be sleeping right now. He might be playing hard to get to. He might think, shit, it might be a bitch. I don't want to pick up too quick. Let her think I'm desperate. Mm, yeah, no. Nah. Oh, shit. Yeah, a credit card collection agency. Croc? Yo, what's up, Leo? Oh, oh shit. Um, Croc, you're on the Leo and Danny show. Oh damn! Yeah, we just wanted Big to say time. hello. We were just talking about you because Angel and, and the well, not Angel and the Grog, oh, the Ark, Angel, Austin, and Dino. You guys are going out to Vegas together, dude. Yeah, dude, we're gonna make a bunch of cash money. All right, all right. I don't want you drinking or smoking out there, though, buddy. All right, none of that shit. All right. I'll try. Austin is lighting up a pipe as we speak. I know, man. It's gonna be tough for these kids to stay soby up there, but. You know, we just because, you know, you spent some time, you know, with some mental health stuff. So I don't know if alcohol in Vegas and the lights and the and the, you know, the party at me. You don't think that's that healthy right now? You know what I mean? Well, I've been drinking oh. pretty much daily. Damn it. <laughs> and I'm still fine. Here, talk so. to talk to Danny. It's been a while for you guys are here. <laughs> well, King Croc, it's good to hear from you, man. I thought you were gone, dude. You're back, though. Oh, no, dude. I'm back, bro. I got out of the hospital a couple weeks ago. Damn, man. And uh, I've been good ever since, man. Just feeling a little, little, uh, a wee bit depressed, trying to get back on my feet, but. Hey, man. Mostly back, dude. I can relate, buddy. Damn, man. I want you to, yeah, you're working out still? Yeah, dude, I fucking, I'm kind of getting ripped off. I spent like a hundred bucks on a gym membership. Yeah, and you've been in the so hospital. I'm, like I'm, I'm in that every day. It's not Equinox, is it? What'd you say? It's not Equinox, is it? No, it's not Equinox. It's Gold's Gym. Okay, it's still a little high end. 
Why? That's a hundred bucks. Jesus. A planet. A, little too high, yeah. a planet fitness probably would have sufficed, but there aren't hot enough bitches in planet fitness, are there, Croc? Not in uh They're pretty ugly. Mind level. Yeah. Planet fitness girls are fucking whack, dude. So I actually support this move. King Croc, what about cutting out the vodka though? Yeah. That can be done, dude. I'm honestly I'm harder on the cigarettes than I am on alcohol. Like cigarettes are like they become a necessity. Sure. They become like a daily. I don't love it, Leo, but I mean, we all know the stereotypical guy in AA with trembly hands and a lit cigarette. At least he's sober. And he looks I mean, you could look cool with a cigarette, right? I mean, you can look real, real cool. Yeah. You can't look great with a big bloated head and a bloated belly from all the vodka you're taking down. No. And the and the yeah. tinge the the yellow tinged yeah, eyes from the liver, too, mm, yeah. the, the jaundice. liver failing, the jaundice from the yeah. Uh, King Croc, let's get down to brass tacks. What is your strategy for the tournament? What kind of deck do you have uh, put together here? So I have a white deck. I'm I'm mm. going full alt right at this mm. tournament, mm. and I am going to dominate because apparently the. Most meta decks, which in nerd terms is like the most popular kind of like what is most optimal to win, is going to be red from what I hear from Austin. Yeah. So those are going to be populated. I've got some counters to that. Wow. And Smart. Really, I don't have to place that high, bro. Like for me, the championship amount, like the 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 finisher payments, like. Dude, I'm, I'm down for the lowest amount, bro. King Croc. Lowest amount's 500 bucks. See, this is symptomatic of everything that's going wrong in your life. I don't like <laughs> that you are setting your sights on the absolute bottom of the, play, the paid placements. Yes. We want you to be thinking first place or bust. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. I just haven't had that much time to practice, but I would believe in myself. I think I can do it. I think I can. King Croc, what you should do is you should meld in some of the Asian kids. You got to get in their head before the tournament even starts. Mm. What do you think about that? What if you go in there? Remember the King Croc that was in Louisiana staring down Mr. Woodruff? What if you busted out that Croc and you went up to one of the Korean kids and you just shook him down? One of the little red deck toting <laughs> nerdy fucks. Show the videos of you just saying you wanted to kill us or something. Ah, how about that? You bastard. Yeah, King uh, Leo saying that you should channel the King Croc that threatened to kill Leo. <laughs> oh, you hurt me, man. <laughs> Come on, Leo, no hard feelings, right? All right, no hard feelings. Of course not. It's funny, man. I already had you on Leo and Friends. I'm just giving you a hard time. King Croc, what are your rares? Okay, so now we're getting a little too. No, not a little too technical. I want to know your rares. <laughs> I want to help build a strategy with you. I just smoked Austin in a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. You would have yeah. loved it. You know what the card, the winning card. Tell him about the winning card. Uh, no, nah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> we don't need to scare him off. He's just coming back into our lives. It's true. It's true. Yeah, dude. One of them's called Naman Guard. Oh, that's a good one. It's it Dude, yeah. It, it sounds good. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking gigantic elephant. And the second he dies, you plus in like two different ways. You get three cards. You get three cores. Yeah. So like you're you're pretty up there. So I, I put him on the field. I have some Pegasuses up, some Pegasi up yeah, as well. Nice. And uh dude, pretty soon my my wall is impenetrable. Uh -huh. And if they ever take it down, I just plus up, plus up, and then I choke them out like a cobra. Because that's really what I'm about, bro. Like, even in life in general, it's like I, I let people think I'm down. And then I just, you know what I'm saying? You know, King Croc, your Namengard, is that the name of it? Yes, it's, a, it's an elephant. My ex, Mia, she was just over in Thailand, and she went to a couple elephant sanctuaries, and the elephants were abused, and they were pretty much treated as slaves, and I guess it was completely heartbreaking. Does it hurt you to watch your Namengard be slain on the field of battle? <laughs> yeah, honestly, it, it does kind of affect me, bro. Especially seeing as we had similar paths. Yeah. Elephants, you know, that, that's just... <laughs> what, is that a slave choke? <laughs> hey! Call him back. His phone died? <laughs> yeah, but his phone died. Damn, he sounds good. Yeah, he dude, sounds completely normal. I don't get it. Yeah, his, his phone's off. The last...
Damn, the last I heard was uh, he completely disappeared again. I guess he just goes into the hospital. Dude, uh, in person, Croc has never uh, seemed um, mentally unstable to me. It's, it's only like these online kind of things that happen uh, from time to time when he's bipolar. I guess he's he says he's bipolar. Damn. I don't know. says he's bipolar. Damn, I could see it. He's getting cock blocked by the psych ward. Other than that, he's totally normal, man. I just think the most, like, the, the stupidest things I've done uh, have always been when I'm drunk, like throwing water balloons out the window of my you know apartment and shit and uh or like at security i don't know but like that's the most mind-altering drug in a way don't you think like so dangerous man yeah sweet johnny our buddy sweet johnny big bunches only is sober the reason he had to get sober did you get the story from him i didn't get the story i got the story from him so big bunches only was blacked out over by usc his stopping grounds his hunting grounds Mm-hmm. That's where he finds the best eucalyptus. True. <laughs> he went into a campus donut hangout, totally blacked out, just demanding food, mm. threatening to fight people, etc. A-, a guy in an apron comes out like, what's the meaning of this? You better pipe down. Dusts off his apron and all the donut dough goes flying. Sweet Johnny's like, you want a piece of me, my boy? Get over here, dog. <laughs> and just starts swinging on the guy. Uh. Gets in a fight. A big fat dishwasher comes out. The pimply kid man in the fryer. They all as a group restrain Sweet Johnny and hold him until the cops come. And then when the cops try to cuff Sweet Johnny, he resists against the cops. Uh. So now he's got an assault and battery against a donut worker and also a resisting arrest charge. He's looking at some serious time, but... To L.A. County's credit, they offer him a drug and alcohol rehabilitation program, which he takes. He's now living at a halfway house. He looks dapper Dude, right he now. He looks but the best he's ever looked. He always dresses up nice. He though, does always so. dress up nice, but his, his he looks healthier, right? He does. A lot healthier. Yeah. He has that confidence, that, that confidence that comes from momentum that one builds up in their life when they're moving in the right direction. That's cr- yeah, man. That, that's actually a beautiful way to put it. He does have that kind of, it's a... I don't like using this word too much, but it, it is a vibe that you get when you when you're around him mm-hmm. right now, which does yeah pride yeah, yeah pride it's, there we go but not yeah. in the biblical deadly sin sense right. he's got it, confidence is the better word yeah he can hold his head up high and know that he's not a mere hours away from polishing off a bottle of Captain Morgan mm-hmm. and punching a fast food worker in the stomach there <laughs> there it is man he uh he is 63 days sober which is great yes and, um, you know, I want to tr- and and he came to the comedy show last night which is a very avid everybody's kind of joyful and drinking shots left and right i mean i think i had a couple at least uh, he didn't seem to be tempted at all which is really nice to see no it was great man. good old sweet johnny 